predicting the Premier League tuna season. This is what EA trolls in FIFA 23. Here's what I've gone with. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. I will actually do it properly. Anyone that starts for them should get one all. EA had Fireman City players in theirs, so I'll do the same. Get in the team. De Bruyne. He didn't get a team of the season in FIFA 19. And his first year which was FIFA 16. He's 32 now and hasn't played in pre-season and came on last week at Wembley. Yeah, and he missed a penalty. I want to say he gets one, only just so. And then I want to say Alvarez gets in. I saw the two goals go in at Wembley and the penalties, but I missed the first 70 minutes. Google sees Alvarez was playing in attacker midfield. And he's good enough. He won a quadruple last year. Diaz has had a team a season in all of the last four years. One is for Ben Pico. Out of them five, Rodri's had two for them and one for Alerco Madrid. Bolden in FIFA 22. Grealish, Tina Season moments for Villa. That's about FIFA 20. And Gavardio in FIFA 22. And a Kanji Never. I'll go with Folden, even though he was on the bench, the shield. And maybe that's a sign that he's the highest rated out of them five. It could also bring in new players like Lucas Macau or Alisi. My Premier League prediction video is coming out when it turns the window shots. I have wrote them down low, so I'll put it on there. Second is Chelsea. I'm going to have to change that though because Nkunku's got injured. He'll definitely be on this. I think it's three or four months out. Chelsea are impossible to predict because you don't know who's going to start for them other than them three if they're not injured. And then Mad Owner could end up bringing in seven more players. I could build a star on 11 of Chelsea players that are special. No goalkeeper though. Got a lot of Marseille players as well. I can see Mudrick doing something in that weird looking home kit. I turned their pre-season game against Brian on and he scored straight away. Great league cut play with Nicholas Jackson. I said when they got him that he's overpriced. He's only scored against Selwick. Arsenal were, were right to get Trozard. Matson could be one to watch out for. The amount of times I see his name. It's going for Coventry against Fulham in a 4-1 win. Last season at Burnley scoring on the opening day against Huddersfield, the only goal. And then also scoring twice against Swansea in Chelsea's pre-season. He scored twice against Wrexham. As a left winger, I think. Can you play though? Left wing back. He probably won't stay at Chelsea. West Ham, I'll link with him. Maybe he goes back to Burnley. James Vyberk. Chelsea's new captain. I think some of the best of backs in the league from 1st to 13th. Trent 2nd. Emerson last. Delo can stay on the bench. 
even though Ten Hag might swap the low and Wanda Saka around. He's got against Borussia Dortmund. Nkunku can join, even though they had to return the last broken toy they got from Leipzig. Another player, again, has also played for Leipzig. 20 million release calls. All I know is better than Fat McKinney, and now he doesn't make the team. I'm also going with a perfect link to Dallo. He's their captain and penalty taker, and a weird reason, he's covering his ears on the two team of season dynamic images he has for Man United. You can go in there, start on level. A player from Burnley really quick. I had Burnley in 10th. He's a silver. Benson Manuel. I remembered the other day that they had him. Then they gave him a new four year contract. He scored the same long shot about four times last season. And I signed him in my FIFA 18 and Bristol City career modes. Even though he was bang average. Six other players at Burnley for me having them in 10th. Maybe he does what Gavin Basuna did. He was at Man City, got along to a League One Portsmouth. Then he joined Southampton on a permanent, kept about two clean sheets, and got dropped for Alex McCarthy. And he's fucked on his brother, so I hope that happens. He can be the bench goalkeeper. Insane tournament for England on the 21s. Same in the penalty at the end. And not conceding a goal in any of the games. Burnley signed a team in the season goalkeeper. I'll mention this guy quick. I can't say a well where Haaland and Hoyland are dominating the drum. And he's going to miss the first a few games. If Man United want to win the Premier League, they should sign Kane. But I don't think Levy would sell to a rival. Does any Spurs player get in? I don't even think the Spurs fans read him. Gets a lot of yellow cards and red cards. Yeah, there's one Spurs player, Madison. Destiny with the G. He got mentioned in Swap of the Shoulder and AJ3 a bit. Because it looks like your doggy. Let's see who, what other left backs are. all. has got against West Ham in pre season. I also think the Celso was harshly thrown out of the club. So you can go into the serves. Your replacement for Harry Kane. Ben Tenko was class before he got injured. Then that season fell apart. So he can go in over La Celso. Just wanted to mention. La Celso, as he was also a fan favourite of mine in the Spurs career mode. I didn't have Ben Tenko in there, I didn't sign him. Salah's had a tuna season every year. He only had two years at Roma, so he has to be in. So that's the only one out of their front three that are guaranteed to start. Then they have Jota, Diaz, Gakpo and Darwin. He and people like Silver Sly and Harvey Elliott can play all there. And also that Ben Dolk. I'd 
promise I'm not drunk. So it's like I can join to it was between him and Yotta. And I have I had Liverpool in third. Liverpool and Chelsea are playing this week. I think Chelsea will win. Liverpool need to sign another centre back because Gomez and Matip are crap. The only Arsenal players I'm putting in is Saka and Gabriel. I thought about Vias, but he doesn't score enough goals, even though he got one this year for West Ham. I put Arsenal second in my predictions last year. They're not going to these away stadiums like Chelsea, Fulham, Brentford, Spurs, Palace and Wolves and keeping clean sheets again. They won 9 of their first 10 games last season. 1 million percent closer to 5th than 1st. Man United again. I don't think Rashford scored 17 Premier League goals again. I think it'd be like in 20... 2019 20 season, he scored 17, and the next season he got 11. I think we'll do that. I saw a picture of Casemiro looking a bit fat in training. Maybe it's foul shot. I won't go with him or the run. Lissandro. What about Luke Shaw as well? Nick Pulp in the middle of our goal, past and present Burnley goalkeepers. He got 13 last year, tied with Ramsdale, then Ellison on 14, De Gea on 17. There's a Queen Pulp, Emmy Martinez, Onana, and Allison. Edison will probably win it all. And then six players from other clubs that could have good seasons. It's got twice against Brighton, which I watched. Then Villa. But look at Villa's team just now, they have some good players. They'll get to at least the semi finals of the Conference League. Yo, Pedro will get about eight goals for them. He plays anywhere going forwards. Lee Gilmore was getting good at the end of last season. So I went with NC Zoll. Bournemouth, who well, I put 11th. People are sleeping on them, and I hate Bournemouth. Aaron's release on today, and it was between him and Semenyo, another Bristol City player. And then West Ham, Antonio was linked with leaving, I think it will stay. Bowen, a good Ben Rama, and Wolf House, and others. No Maguire. I don't know if they're playing fire or that with a good sumo and him. I didn't put a cow on here because I think I'll force a move. Mitrovic might also force a move. And then Fulham would be Fox. Apparently Palinia's injured. Could have gone with the other reads. Everton It's not looking good when I'm putting Ashley Young and I will be on here And also Dan Drummer Crystal Palace, a really easy one Edward scored twice against Watford in pre-season Eze, somehow he doesn't have a special card and also Sam Johnston made some insane saves against Watford. Brentford, I have them in 16th. And I still put Ivan Tony on here. It's 
missing the first half of the season. This card still scores for me, even if I use it now. This card on the game. Forest. He was playing with Brentford. A 1 8 FPL legend. I put him in for the game against Southampton. Nico Williams. Oh, Mangala. And I was along with Danilo. Brazilian midfielder who's not on, not on that team. Yeah, Yates could have been a good one as well. Oh, yeah, he's not on that team either. So I'm going to with him. We still have Dennis. Lodi went to Marseille. Luton. Chong. And Dowie, then go with Giles, who has a team of season for Middlesbrough. Ross Barkley, and also Cabor, who's a Man City player on loan, and was at Marseille last season. Getting a flashback at 22 is mental. Wolves, Dawson. Done his ACL on the first game last season, his debut. Pulled as well. And finally, Sheffield United. He signed him today as a future star, so I put him in. I know I saw his face when they were tweeting about him. Jalen Bogle and Daniel Jefferson. Scored against Everton away once. Not even being biased here, I think Watford have a better sword right now. 